come to Lord this evening. Sing of his faithfulness, sing of his goodness. He is faithful, he is unchanging. Thank you, Lord. Let's sing verse 1, verse 2, then the chorus. And he won't stop now. I know breakthrough is coming by faith. And I see a miracle. My God made me a promise, and he won't stop now. Sing the chorus, your presence, your presence. It's an open door. Want you, Lord, like never before. Presence, Lord. Your presence is an open door. So come now, Lord, like never before. So come now, Lord. So come now, Lord, like never before. So come now, Lord, like never before. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. I'll pass the time to Father Simon. Yes. We ask the Lord to help us in these sessions. Lord, you know what we need, you know where we are, you know who we are, you know and you prepare place for us. Whether am I able to listen? Can I listen the voice that you call us? Lord, help us when we do not know where, where we go. Help us when we lost. Help us when we cannot see and hear. If we now before you, Lord, give us a heart of discernment. Give us a heart of a listening heart so that we may able to see clearly see wisely 
for what we have prepared for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Maze Runner. Have you all seen the movie Maze Runner? I believe you all, most of you watch the movie, right? Maze Runner. And yes. Uh, yes. So Maze Runner is uh, quite interesting. The story also, they, after one maze and the second episode, they go for another race, a, another maze. So our life is just like maze, you know, sometimes. Not sometimes, I think always. Lah. Because why? Because our life got a lot of choices. Inside the maze, we need to make a lot of decisions in life. Every junction in our life, we need to make a decision. We need to choose. And maze is just like also it's like a race, you know, race. Maze and race. Quite similar. Huh? And some people say if the maze is a race, and this race, if without God, uh, it's very hard to run. And if the race with God is grace, you know, the G, uh, G act on the race is grace. So in the Bible, St. Paul also said a lot of places he said about race, about race. He said, run the race. Uh, I forgot. I forget what is behind and I struggle for what is ahead. I run towards the goal so that I can win the prize of being called to heaven. So, and St. Paul, so another place he said, no, this is not St. Paul, this is Hebrews. Huh? In Bible, Hebrews said, let us throw, throw off everything that hinders and the sin that's so easily uh, entangled, entangles and let us run with perseverance. The race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. In another, another place, St. Paul who said, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. St. Paul said, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Race. St. Paul said, our life is like a race. To follow Jesus is like a race. Why? Because Wait, ah, this one. Okay, so it's really like a race, you know, like a maze race. <laughs> it's not easy to 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 run this race because a lot of ways you don't know where. So, for some people, their life is an easy maze, you know, like this, like this, an easy maze. This is very simple, ah. You 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 can easily finish it. But for some people, that their, their life is like that. It's so complicated. <laughs> Why? Just some people are so so complicated. Sometimes our self make our life complicated. You know, which life are you? You are the simple one or the uh this one? Which one you want? So, but the reality is, somehow we are in the maze. Huh? We are in the maze. And in our life, we've got a lot of choices. Every day, we need to make a choice. Choice actually is not, not difficult to make when it is good and bad. It's is just um, very obvious. You can see, oh, this is good. I give you two, two kinds of food. Huh? The food that you like and the, the food you don't like. You very, It's easy for you to choose which one you want, right? But... It is very uh, difficult to choose when both are good. You think both are good for you. And that is very difficult to choose. But in our life, sometimes we do not know how to choose because too many choices. And sometimes, um, sometimes even uh, we see we got like, let's say we got three, four choices. 
the all we see good one we think that is good for me but sometimes we we do not know actually the thing that not so good and i'm not willing to 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 choose one actually is is better for me you know and how am i going to know it sometimes god call us god prepare a, a kind of life for us ah. sometimes we we don't want you know we we, we reject that choice you never think about that choice as well so because we 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 can't see foresee the the opportunity the the the, the outcome of that kind of life you see when we start from one side like this maze is so big from one side you do not know what is happening the on the other side you will never know because we cannot see what is in the future and what is going to come we only see what we know we only see what we can predict and i think uh, our life is not only like the maze runner that kind of maze only you know and that maze uh, and also include like this you know like the snake and the ladder so you all play this game before right you cut not the snake you jato you you go back then you 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 get the ladder you climb up so in within our maze uh, there there are a lot of snakes and ladders also sometimes we cannot snake and a lot of time most of the time we cannot snake snake also if we, we are not careful and snake is all the things that bring us down all the things that situation the choices that we make and bring us even uh, far from god far from what god wants us to be so the the this maze is, is not just simple as uh, our normal maze you know it's, it's so complicated our life is so complicated so is it very susan now you hear all this uh, it's like ah oh, so how how lah? <laughs> But never mind, because we have God. You see, sometimes God allows us to be able to see. Inside the maze, sometimes God will have... There, there, there are times that God will bring us up and we can see clearly for a while. Then we continue our journey. And all this time that we can see clearly uh, is through our prayer. Is through prayer when we are connected to God, when we are able to connect with God, because God knows everything. Once we can connect with Him, then we will see things like God sees. We will hear things like God hear, and we will think like God think. Because that is wisdom. Because the God is wisdom, and we will have the wisdom to see what is happening in our life so i would like to tell you all about all this uh, um, uh, the people that in in the bible the first one this one is uh, noah is noah um, the second one is abraham Joseph, Moses, David, Elijah, Mother Mary is there also. And this is uh, Peter and then Paul, St. Paul. All these people, we think they are great people, you know? Are they great people? Of course, yes, because they are so, so, uh, it's a important people in the Bible, right? But one thing uh, I want to tell you all, if without God, if they are alive without God, they are nothing. Including Mother Mary. If in in the life of Mother Mary, without God, Mother Mary is nobody. All of these people are just like you and I. They become so great because of God. Their life becomes so different because of God. Right? So this session, I would like to show you there, there's three things that these people, just now I show you these people, 
they have the similarity, the same things they have when they do discernment, when they make choices in life, when they follow God. It's these three things. To know, to be humble, and to trust, which means faith. When we, when we make choices, we want to make right choices in life, like just now what I said, we must connect with God. The word is to know, to know God. In Bible, the word to know God is, you know, when the Bible said, Adam know Eve. What does it mean? Abraham know Sarah. They have very close relationship. Close until they, uh, like husband and wife. Adam know Eve. Then after that, they have baby. Uh. <laughs> they got baby already. Abraham know Sarah. Then they, they got Isaac. <laughs> so, now today, do you know God or not? Do you be able to be like Adam and Eve, so close to one another? Are we able to be so close to God, know God, to know? To know means to be connected, very close connection. If you don't know God, we cannot know what the way he prepared for us. And the second one is to be humble. All these people, all these great people, huh, they know they need to be humble. All this, they know God. Huh? All these people, they know God. And they are humble. They are very humble. They humble themselves and allow God to lead them. Allow God to to tell them where what to do, where to go. The third one is to trust. And they trust God. All these people, they, they always trust Him. But uh, in, in real things, all these people, they have their doubt time. Huh? They are not perfect. All these are human, no? They also not perfect. Sometimes they doubt. But very fast, they turn back to God and put their trust back to God. They don't doubt always. The problem is sometimes we doubt and doubt and then we, we never turn back to, to, to the trust, you know, to the faith. And we continue to, to be doubt. Huh? <laughs> so that is the problem. Even the doubt, uh, the doubtful Thomas, uh, he just doubt for a while then when Jesus appeared to him and he trusts again. So we see this, to know is what? To know opposite is what? That's how I say, to know is to connect, to connect. So if the opposite of knowing means uh, disconnect, whenever we disconnect with God, cut off from the relationship. To know is the relationship, the close relationship. When we cut off of it, then that is where we lost. The vine and the branches, if cut off, then the branches will die. To be humble. Humble. Opposite of humble is what? Pride. Pride. Adam and Eve, because of pride, then they eat the fruit of knowledge. A lot of people, because of pride, therefore they fall. Um, who? Judas. Because of pride, he never turned back. All the disciples betrayed Jesus, including Judas. But why Judas cannot huh? is like end of the story because Judas never turned back. The rest of the disciples, the 11, they met Jesus and they repent and they, they know they need God and they put their trust back into God. But Judas didn't. Judas, the pride cannot, he cannot let go his pride and he commits suicide. So to trust with faith, Faith, whenever you trust, you will you will have courage to move on. You will have strength to move on. 
the opposite of faith is what fear whenever you do not have faith you will have fear you will you will cover by fear that is the thing so faith and fear is the opposite so where are you are you are you disconnect are you stay with your pride do not not able to let go your pride most of the time in your life are you now do you now uh fear living in fear because of pandemic so where is your faith where is your trust so today the lord is calling us to put the trust back to him to be humble and to be reconnect with him let us see noah you know noah right noah to he is the one called by god to build the ark and you know how many years noah spent uh, to build the ark you know 100 years you know over 100 years he built this ark over 100 years and i can tell you during this 100 years he just uh people around him just telling him you are stupid why you build certain things like that but he know god he knows god because of that he continue to trust what god tells him to do and he is humble enough to really take up this task and build the ark and at the end he proved that he is right he never see the 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 the, the future he he doesn't know what going to happen whether it's true or not he just receive the message from god sometimes we also receive a message from god no but sometimes we doubt we we, we do not we, we doubt because maybe we do not know him well we do not know god well because we do not know his word the scriptures we do not really know him so he built this up for 100 years and finally he saved life god calls us to save life god have a special mission for all of us each one of us all of us no one except we play a very important part that no other people can 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 uh, take over this is noah so we see abraham abraham also he he is a uh, he called by god to leave his hometown u u la the place you see from from the from here from u to haran haran then is very far is over 1000 miles today today distance uh, is about 2000 km no more than 2000 km and he was very old and he god asked him to just leave the hometown and go to the promised land that god prepare for him and he just believe and trust god trust his lead leading and he went and this is abraham that's why and he a lot of things happen in his life so he 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 is very limited no is 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 not a perfect person also he got many times he he also doubt he he doubt that whether in his age ah uh, so old still can still can get birth or not he 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 did not believe that will happen that's why he got ismail he he went and have another wife uh, the the maid become the the wife and have ismail and god said no this is not my plan my plan is sarah sarah is my plan for you to have isaac so you see sometimes we doubt sometimes if we we, we go the wrong way it's like maze lah we some if we go the wrong way we have to u turn we have to u turn so but he really trust god when god tested him to sacrifice isaac he did and god didn't let it happen because that is not his plan 
So sometimes God tests us, you know, in our life, He tests us that whether we we really trust Him or not. Sometimes in certain situation, but last minute God will make things different, happen differently. So we see Moses also. Moses, this is the holy ground. Today, Kamis Kudus, our heart is the holy ground. Moses met God. He know God here, the burning bush. And this is where he encountered the Lord. And God asked him to deliver his people. Sometimes we, we do not know whether that is a right decision or not, whether this is true or not. Uh, we need to, for some youth leaders, uh, we, 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 as a leaders in the, in the youth group or whatever, sometimes we don't know whether we, we're going to lead the people in the right way or not. You know, when Moses, I just imagine uh, when Moses lead the people towards the Red Sea, he cannot see anywhere to go. It's the dead end, great sea. How he felt that time. Sometimes we, we also, you know, sometimes as leaders, as parents, maybe your parents, you know, sometimes it's not easy to be a parent. Um, sometimes they, because we all are limited. So they may, a lot of things may, they may not know how to, how to uh, educate, how to, how to lead the people, how to lead their children. They may go the wrong way as well, they may think. But somehow, if we are really faithful to God, in God, God will lead us, even though that is a dead end. And Moses lead the people through the Red Sea. And this is Moses. So are you someone like Moses? Moses is very uh, bad-tempered one, no? Very fast, uh, get, get panas one. He will sc scold people, he will, he will angry easily. This, we are not perfect. All, all, of this, all these great people are not perfect also. Same. So he lead people out of Egypt. So the next we see David. David, David is who? King David. He is a great king. He's a, he's a greater king in, in the Israel history. Eh? And his relationship with God is very close. Why, why I say like that? Do you remember this, this story or not? This story is about David when he was still a teenager. He he fight the giant, fight against the giant. The giant came and, I mean, no one can, 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 could able to uh, fight against this, this fighter. And David, because of faith, he said, people, people help him to wear all the armor uh, to fight, you know, but David said, no need, I no need all this armor because I have God. Father Simon, just yes. to remind you, now it's 6.35. Okay. So, same, Elijah. Elijah and uh, also, all these people have a lot of experiences like us. Mary. Mary is a person that she willing to submit herself totally. And you know, lah, Mary, we are all familiar with Mary, right? The enunciation. She did not know what is happening, what going to happen to if she's going to have a child pregnant. How? A lot of things. Sometimes in our life also, we, we, we think too much, you know, but we cannot trust God, but Mary just let go of all this and give herself trust in God. Even 
to let go his only son. She never tell Jesus, ah, no, no, no. Mary knows Jesus is is divine, no, because she delivered Jesus. Mary very well, she knows very well Jesus is a divine, and she never tell Jesus. You don't go and die. <laughs> she never stopped Jesus to die. She knows that is God's plan. Are we able to to be like that? Certain times in our, sometimes in our life. So Peter as well, because of time, I need to. Paul as well. Paul also encounter a lot of things in their life. So I just. Would like y'all to share now break into groups so jesus promised us he said i am with you always yes to the end of time so y'all later y'all you break into small groups uh, to share this so at this moment where are you in your maze what obstacles are you facing and what would you like to tell God? Okay, so this what would you like to tell God is your prayer, no? It's the it's it's really from who you are, and just now you you hear me say all the all the all these people they how they respond to God. So where are you now? What are you facing? And what you like, would you like to tell God? So we can split into groups. I believe you all share a lot in the in the small group because uh we got plenty of time just few of us only <laughs> so um, so just just now the last one I said what do you want to tell God what do you want to tell God that that is what you want to pray you no know? you really desire that God hear your prayer. And what is prayer actually? I just add on, uh, give me another five minutes. Uh, uh. <laughs> so another five minutes to just very fast. Sometimes we, we think prayer is very, very formal. Prayer actually is very simple. Prayer do not need uh, a lot of things. Prayer is just you desire God. And the moment you you recognize yourself is with God, that is a prayer. You see, this one is Abraham. How Abraham pray? No, you see, can see the screen ah? The all the mayat here. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, yes can see. <laughs> all the mayat. This one mayat is uh, the day actually the Wednesday reading only. Abraham 
God made covenant with Abraham and he, he asked Abraham to cut all, chop all the mayat uh, into half, uh, the cow, uh, the lamb, uh, all into half. And, and then uh, Abraham walked walk on the, walk at the center of the mayat, <laughs> all the mayat. Why I show you this? I want to tell you all that prayer, you see how, how Abraham prayed, no? He, he really uh, it's, it's very very uh, a lot of things are blurred all these are very uh, very 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 very, very glee, la. <laughs> but that is his prayer because he, he really seriously made a covenant with God you know and and that covenant make him continue his journey his faith in God to to the day he died. Are we do we have sometimes we need to, to have some actions like that, no? Even you 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 throw you some people they throw coins at the well, you know, they make a prayer. Sometimes they you go to Tokong, huh? the Tokong they're very they they very popular, man. You you just throw a coin, then you, you make a wish, right? If that action actually is help them to 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 hope for something, to pray for something. But for us Christian, actually, we, we 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 can do that kind of things also. It's not it's not something uh, new. It's let's say you 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 throw a stone. You know, last time when when uh, Abraham or, or or Isaac or Jacob, when they make a stone, uh, they put a stone, or they make a prayer, then they make a put up some stone. That is a symbol of their prayer. And that's the mark of prayer. So sometimes we, we pray, we need to... Because prayer is not just by mouth. You can, by our whole body, some people by dream, uh, this is uh, Joseph. Joseph, in the Bible, only got two persons always, uh, the Bible said, fully, their prayer is through dreams. One, Both of them also Joseph. One is the Old Testament Joseph. Uh, the other one is, the Joseph of uh, Mary husband. <laughs> Both of them also pray in the dream. Yeah, the pray through dream. Uh. So sometimes our dream, you, you sometimes God also tells us through dreams as well. But need to be careful that one. You need you need uh, people to help you to discern properly also. So you see David, King David, how did King David pray? King David pray when he just dance. He just dance. We use our body to pray. How many of us use our body to pray one? Or you just uh diam diam only like that pray? I tell you, now you are in your room, right? Nobody see you, right? Your your daddy mommy not seeing you, uh, your brother, sister sleeping, not, not seeing you. So so later you can dance, you know? You can do whatever you can pray. <laughs> David, uh, King David, he doesn't care people what People say he he was a king, you know. He he was a king, and and he doesn't care. And he he you see he naked, you know. He pray and naked. So. <laughs> it's 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 an express. I used to before I enter seminary. I that time when I was uh, a dis, discerning. Ah, uh, just now I heard some sharing discerning also. I I just truly truly go to the church. Ah, uh, I go and kiss the altar. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no people I, I make sure no people see you know <laughs> so because my desire just now that's why I asked you what do you want to tell God that time when I kissed the the, the altar huh, that prayer I tell God I want to be your priest <laughs> if you call me I want to be your priest <laughs> so that is prayer and prayer that when Jesus called Peter and Peter allowed Jesus to come up to his boat, that is also a prayer. You allow Jesus, allow God to come into your life. God, when Jesus comes into our life, that is prayer. Jesus in our life, 24 hours, that is a prayer. When you see Jesus' prayer, Jesus always by himself, he he go away from the, the people, he alone, go up the hill and pray. Huh? 
Yeah. Okay. Actually, I got a lot to share. No time really. So, uh, <laughs> I used to go Gunung Tahan as a trekking. You know, you know this Gunung Tahan go camp, and the whole journey is a prayer. You can go outdoor as a prayer. You can go for a journey, a, a trip as a prayer. Through the journey, I experience a lot of things. It's like a race of life. You need to put up tank and put off the tank, and and journey again and put up the tank, and 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 simpan the tank after a day. This is life, right? Because life is not permanent. Every places, every station we go in our life is not permanent. Sometimes we need to change our job. Sometimes we need to change our uh, our community as well. So. But along the journey, we experience a lot of good things. Also, friendship, scenery, weather, good air, all this. So, prayer can go cycling. I usually go cycling. I, I pray when I listen my my vocation. Ah, uh, I got many times I pray on the bicycle and I cry because I hear, I know. I I don't want to use the word. Uh, Uh, hear the voice, lah. Actually, it's a knowing. When you pray, you know, you know God, you know. When you get connected and you know Him, and He, He tell you what He wants. He He wants me to be His priest, and He that is what I heard from Him. So, I lead people to to pilgrimage by cycling. All these are prayer. So, I want to tell you. All is ah, the gospel Mark twelve thirty. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. Which means, is the whole being, is the whole being. So when we pray, also is the whole being. It's not just our mouth or our whatever. It's the whole being. So I encourage you, in the future, you when you pray, you can. Pray with your whole being, so don't let people see you, lah. They 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 will they will laugh at you. So so you close yourself in the room. <laughs> Jesus will say, close yourself in the room and pray <laughs> in the secret place. So and do whatever you can. You 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 can you can just express yourself. So an hour is coming, and it is now when the true worshippers. We worship the Father in spirit and in truthfulness, for the Father also seeks such to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truthfulness, in truth, in spirit and in truth. The truth means ah,、uh, it's not the truth means ah,、uh, we worship Him genuinely. Who we are? I'm Simon. I worship you as Simon. I no need to be pretending. No need to pretend anything. Just come totally, be myself before God, truthfully, and my spirit worship Him. The worship that is a true worshiper. So at the end, we run the race only by His grace. So the maze is a race. And run by His grace. So may God bless you all. We we end with a a prayer. I hope you all, if whoever want to continue in this、uh, prayerful moment, we can continue up to what time? Ah, seven thirty. Seven thirty. Okay. So ah,、uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Again, the questions. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ah,、uh, in the seminary last time, ah,、uh, when seminarians ah,、uh, you know, not everyone enter the seminary. Wo wo jadi one ma, so some people halfway they tak jadi right, so so ah、uh, usually people who halfway they 
they find uh, susah susah ini bukan this kind of life ah uh, not my what the life I want so they cannot stay anymore so they desolate they depress so that time when they go and see the the our the fathers ah uh, or the the, the priests ah uh, they say they what they feel like that then they don't want to continue continue the seminary life lah they want to let live lah they want to live so the priest always tell them don't make any decision when you are depressed and desolate <laughs> because when you are depressed and desolate whatever decision you make will be wrong decision you 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 you, you can't be so be patient be patient just be gentle to yourself allow yourself allow god to heal allow god to love you first when you are in a you cannot make a right decision you mostly you will make a wrong decision <laughs> mostly you make a wrong decision so that is how usually uh, when people come for discernment if they are in that moment don't make any decision better if people already fighting husband and wife fight, fighting ah uh, you know priest always ah uh, got husband and wife come ah uh, they fight fight and you wow oh, both are so angry at uh. how can they make decision what what decision they make also want to divorce only <laughs> whatever decision they make is divorce <laughs> so don't make don't make decision come down first when both of you calm down uh, husband and wife both of you calm down a day settle a day now look clearly right ah uh, still want to divorce or not so divorce is your choice or not then only you be clear otherwise your decision is not not right so as simple as that lah i mean be yourself is not stable that's so always Can okay. Hope that can help you. Can other. Hmm. Okay. So, so now I invite your uh just later when we just sing a few uh maybe two two or three hymns, songs. Then uh we still remember just now I asked you to to share about what do you want to tell god at this moment so during this prayer you you just from your heart you you can off your video huh and you can express yourself <laughs> you can dance also or whatever you may think of then you really pray with your all your mind all your heart all your soul and all your strength and allow god at this moment to embrace you as well to hug you to be your god acknowledge him he is your god so felix we shall you can start let's take this verse in the chorus Uh, just the chorus and the bridge of this song called "Good Good Father." Uh, I'll ask Sister Dira to flash the lyrics for us. Friends, you don't have to look at the lyrics if you're in prayer. Um, we'll just take a song, and from there uh, we can take turns to voice out our prayer. Then maybe another song, a short song, to to lead us in to prayer and worship. And just we just let the Spirit lead us as we respond to the Lord this evening. Thank you, Lord. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. To you are, to you are, and I'm loved by 
Father, my prayer is this, that in the uncertainty of at the workplace, in the uncertainty of um, the sh- my job situation, a salary situation, Lord, help me to trust you. Help me to find reasons to be thankful. Lord, I, if, I'll just like to voice out that I'm thankful for the five sisters who were in my sharing group just now. They may not know it, but they're, they're sharing um, encouraged me so much that you spoke to them through spoke to me through their sharing Lord I'm thankful that in your own simple way that you are showing me that you are with me you're a good father you're perfect in all of your ways and I trust in you Amen. next person can be free to pray thank you Lord Thank you, Father, for calling us. Thanks for bringing us to these sessions. Also, during this pandemic, Lord, thank you for making new ways, open new doors for us to be close to each other. And also, I would like to pray for the sisters that just now in the sharing who are seeking for discerning for their vocation as well. Lord, hear, hear their prayer, the prayer that they want to say to you. Listen to all their needs. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise you. invite our group leaders to be free to voice your prayers if you're led to
O oh Lord God, you who are all knowing and love, we thank you always for guiding us and being there in our lives. But in our lives, there's still so many uncertainties and so many weaknesses that we face and that we find in ourselves. So, oh blessed Lord, um, I pray and ask for grace to enlighten our minds. Let us see not only, not, not through our own perspective, but from yours. And even more than that, to give us the strength to do your will. So that not only by seeing, we should also carry out. Thank you, O Lord. Amen. faith in you, guide our action, Lord, that we may live by faith in our midst, that we will come out from this darkness, show us the light, show us the way. Pull our hand out of this trouble, out of this anxiety. Life is not good to walk down, and there's so many adventures that we want to explore. And to explore more about you. us to steadfast our trust in you God, thank you for all your good for us. Even in these trying times, Lord, we know you are here. Even though everyone is feeling lost, feeling troubled, feeling burdened, Lord, we know you are here. I ask, Lord, for your grace. Give us Give us, let us know that you are here with us. Give us the strength to persevere in these times. Lord, guide us in this maze that we are in. We don't know where we are going, but Lord, give us the grace to trust in you. No matter. If we even even if we see that dead end ahead, we know Lord that you 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 have a plan for us. Amen. <laughs> 